Acts 19, 1-6. 1 It happened that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul passed through the upper country, and came to Ephesus, and found some disciples. Point 2 He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said to him, No, we have not even heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. 3 And he said, Into what then were you baptized? And they said, Into John's baptism. For Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in him who was coming after him, that is, in Jesus. 5 When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. 6 And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they began speaking with tongues and prophesying. You can tell a pastor you are ready for baptism, and he will dunk you under water, repeat the scripture, baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, when you are back out of the water feel wet like a new person. You can start to curse or swear less, dress better, try to live a godly life, but the Lord God can see your heart. His mighty eyes can see the desires of your heart, and mind if he sees you are willing to serve him you will be baptized by his Holy Spirit. Being baptized should be a personal decision, a relationship that a person wants to start with God should be between them and God. Children who grow in a Christian family get baptized, cause mom, dad, brother, and sister are baptized born-again Christian, but don't get baptized cause of them. Some children get baptized cause they're invited by a friend to go to church, or a VBS event, vacation Bible school. In my young days, the church would promise a gift to a child that bought most of their friend to church, but being baptized is about your gift of salvation, not your friend or your church. I have seen many Christians get rebaptized, cause they said they were baptized at a young age, but it wasn't a person, but more like peer pressure. It's like a married couple that gets remarried, or renews their vows to each other and to God. They want to say to others, I still love you and promise to stay loyal, till death do up part. Being baptized is like a marriage and the event of the wedding, being dunk or immerse into water. A person tells the world and God, I love you, Lord, I want to give my life to you Jesus, please Holy Spirit come live and dwell inside my heart, Amen. When you want to give yourself go, God, do him and yourself a favor, make it personal. God bless you all, the Lord Jesus loves you and so do I, Samuel J. H. Revelation 2, 17 Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. To everyone who is victorious, I will give some of the manna that has been hidden away in heaven. And I will give to each one a white stone, and on the stone will be engraved a new name that no one understands except the one who receives it.